In this video, we'll talk about hyper IgM syndrome. This is a high yield topic for USMLE part one. Hyper IgM syndrome is one type of T and B cell disorders. In this particular uh, syndrome, there is over representation of IgM in a patient's serum. It's also known as X linked hyper IgM syndrome. And in this particular condition, the males are affected because males have only one chromosome X. So there is no uh, extra chromosome X to counterbalance this. In female, mostly they are carriers. Now in hyper IgM patient, there is an over representation of IgM antibody in the serum. But the question is why there is more IgM. So we have to understand that and understand the biology behind the hyper IgM syndrome. So let's begin. This is a B cell. B cell interacts with a T cell via the T cell receptor. The first interaction, the T cell and MHC2 interaction give rise to signal 1 for activation and CD40 and CD40 ligand interaction give rise to second signal for activation. In case of hyper IgM syndrome, there are genetic defects which lead to a faulty CD40 ligand on T cell. Moral of the story? B cell activation is not proper. That lead to several problems. That prevents the isotype switching. So by default, IgM antibody gets produced and other subtypes or isotypes are not produced. We'll come back to it in details. But this kind of situation leads to clinical uh, situations like severe pyogenic infections in early life, opportunistic, opportunistic infection from pneumocystis, Cryptosporidium and CMV. So let us try to understand this in a bit more detail. So there are two types of B cell activation. I have a different video on B cell activation. But anyway, so in the stronger B cell activation happens when the T cell activates the B cell. And that's why there are two signals which are required, which we have discussed early. So the signal two cannot be transmitted when CD40 ligand is defective. In normal cases, the CD40 and CD40 ligand interaction give rise to second signal, which leads to a activation of B cell. But what happens when the B cell is activated? But before that, let me tell you, there could be also cross-linked antigen that can activate B cells. But that activation is not very strong, not enough to switch isotypes. So there are bacterial components like flagellin, LPS, all of these can activate B cell independent of the T cell. B T cell dependent or independent activation of B cell, B cell would eventually proliferate and increase their number. Now naive B cell once actually produce membrane bound IgM and IgD, these are the predominant or by default antibodies which are present in a naive B cell. Eventually, the naive B cell encounter uh, the T cell and they interact with each other, they become activated. After that, B cell kind of differentiate into plasma cell. Plasma cell can produce different types of potential antibody, for example, IgG. But producing IgG from the default state of IgM requires isotype switching. I have a different video on isotype switching link is in the description and the i button this isotype switching is messed up in hyper igm syndrome why it is messed up because there is a defective cd40 ligand that's why the b cell activation is not strong enough to evoke the class switching response once class switching does not happen by default more and more igm is produced and that is why the patient serum has over representation of IgM antibodies. Let's talk about some of the clinical symptoms. Clinical symptoms might include sinusitis, ear infection, and also there could be chances of diarrhea and there are problems with diet and overall uh, physiology. Some patients, not all, displays reduction in neutrophil levels and nobody knows the reason yet. But anyway, the affected individual can also develop or are in higher risk of developing autoimmune disorders. Anyway, 
I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram for getting more notes. You can support my channel using super thanks and share this channel link with your friends. See you in next video.